Welcome back to Sovereigns TV, episode number two, and we're here with head coach Natasha Chocolate and high performance manager Eloise Southby. After all of our player trials are done and dusted, how did the trials go, Tash? Uh, the trials went really well. Um, well. It's been a long three weeks of selections, and we've got the headache, to, uh, headache, headache. <laughs> the head ass headache task. <laughs> We've got the hard task now of actually um, selecting the team. Yep. So numbers have been really good as well, Ella. Just especially the nine and unders. There would have been forty-five to fifty girls trying out for what's going to be what twelve spots. Yeah. So with the nineteen and unders, we're going to have obviously the team of twelve, mm -hmm. and then a development squad of oh, another twelve underneath. Um, so range of ages too. Some of the girls were as young as fourteen, yep. um, heading up to like that nineteen-year-old age bracket. So lots of kids and lots of great talent to develop here and that's very exciting and obviously then into the seniors we've had a sprinkling of numbers um, over the last three weeks so you know sort of ranging around that 30 mark so you know hopefully we'll uh, we'll be able to put together a really good competitive team and, and squads. And it was good Tash even today in the last trial section there were girls that had come in for the first time okay. for the trials that yeah. were unavailable due to local netball commitments obviously yeah. throughout the last couple of weeks but still made the effort to come down today and try out. Yeah, it was um, really pleasing to see there was, you know, being the last day, there was a few new faces there. So it um, just made it a little bit harder for selections because mm, you, you're moving everything around and then you're seeing someone else that's coming in and they're playing really well. So, yeah, we do have the arduous task now of trying to select a side. Elle, you mentioned that you're going to get the development side as well for the under nine. Is you primarily going to look at younger players for that development side or not really age specific uh, so much? Not age specific. I think um, obviously you do look and see if you think of some, someone that's been it's young and raw whether yep. you can develop them over the next few years but um, look I think mainly it's about you know competition for the 19 under team you often get injuries throughout the year or people have to move up grades or you need replacements in the 19 so yep. it's really important that you've got a pool of players that are you know ready to go uh, and able to step up to that level of competition so that's why the development spot is there. I suppose without preempting anything, as you said, you've now got the decision to make where 100 odd players that you've seen have to go into four teams of 12. Mm. Without preempting anything, has there been anybody in particular that's kind of taken your eye or combinations that you've thought, oh, that's, they're going to really work well together? I was actually uh, really impressed with one of the 14 year olds yep. um, who tried out today, and that was um, Sasha McDonald. So um, I did just double check with her mum to make sure she was only 14 because we'd really love to grab her. Yeah. <laughs> but being that age, um, have to leave her in the 19s. Yep. No, it's probably a bit difficult. To call, but <laughs> it's good to know that somebody like that, if you can develop de develop them through the 19s, yeah. and who knows how things go at the end of the season. Don't worry, I told someone about her already. <laughs> good. Season, That's so good to know. Years down the track, you never know. But you may get the chance to even have a look at her in Div 1 or something like that down the track at the end of the year, yeah. depending on how things go. Yeah, exactly. So it was just really exciting. Some of the young talent, yeah. like, it's pleasing. You know, we've got 14. 15 year olds. Yeah. Laura Conway was good, who's a 19 under, which we were looking yep. at in the seniors, and yep. Jordan Bibby, Bibby, who's just yes. sort of come back from an ACL. Of course, so hasn't played was, any Yeah, so she she performed really well at trials, <laughs> considering she hasn't touched yeah. much of the netball. Yeah. Well, you've got the long night coming ahead of you now. I don't envy you in the slightest, but it's going to be very exciting to see the teams that you do name that will be the inaugural teams for the Sovereigns for the VNL for next year. Good luck with your decisions, girls. Fabulous. What comes next after the, after the teams have been named? Um, so we're naming the teams. Um, obviously, we'll put an offer out to the girls. Um, yep. Hopefully, they accept. Um, and then we'll start pre-season training. Um, we'll start in October with a home program for the girls. Yep. And then we'll be training all together for the um, beginning of very, very exciting stuff coming yeah. up, of course. It's now real. We've been talking about it for so long. We've gone through the trials, you'll pick sides, and then from there it just goes on and on. Very much looking forward to it. Tasha, Ella, thank you very thank much you. for not just joining us today, but all of your time in the last couple of weeks getting this thing off the ground, and here we go. Thanks very much. Yeah, exciting times ahead. Yep. Sovereigns TV once again with our head coach Natasha Chocolate and our high performance manager Eloise Southby. We'll be back once pre-season training starts in just a couple of weeks' time.